Why did they come making a video on me? Oh, 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 oh. What's up guys, it's George Aluyu and in today's video I want to show you how to hold mitts for boxing. This video is a little different than the usual ones I make because this isn't necessarily for boxers or people looking to learn boxing technique, but rather for people wanting to learn how to hold mitts. Maybe you're a dad or a mom and want to hold mitts for your kids at home, or maybe you're a personal trainer and you want to spice up the cardio for your clients, then this is the video for you. I want to make this clear just because someone knows how to hold mitts, that doesn't make them a boxing coach. Being a boxing coach requires so much more than just holding mitts. In fact, I know some great boxers boxing coaches that don't even hold mitts for their fighters. Real quick, the winners of the boxing gloves giveaway is Anthony A from California and German V from Texas. Thank you guys for participating and I'll be reaching out to you. If you want to enter a chance to win a pair of boxing gloves, all you got to do is subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I love sharing advice on boxing, nutrition, exercise, life of a boxer, behind the scenes footage on boxing events. So if any of those topics interest you, please make sure to subscribe so you stay up to date with the latest video. Okay, before I show you how to hold mitts, let me go over some common mistakes I see. Also, there's so many ways to hold mitts and different styles. So the more you do it, the more you'll develop your own style. Mistake number one is holding the mitts too high. Unless you're training a boxer who's fighting someone much taller than them, there's no point in holding the mitts so high up. If you're holding the mitts for someone much smaller than you, then you need to either lower yourself or have them stand at a higher point. That's why you'll sometimes see boxing coaches sitting on a chair when holding mitts for kids. Also, it's just uncomfortable if you're holding mitts so high up, and if you catch a power punch wrong, the whiplash may hurt your shoulder. Mistake number two is holding the mitts out in front before the boxer throws punches. It looks awkward, it's uncomfortable, and if you're holding mitts for a puncher, your elbows will absorb a lot of the impact, so don't be surprised if you experience pain hours after. Mistake number three is not allowing the boxer to extend their punches. I see this a lot with people new to holding mitts. They think they need to apply the same force as if they're punching. Yes, you need resistance and push against the punches, but you're not the one supposed to get the workout in. If you are aggressively holding out the mitts, you may hurt the boxer's hand. It also doesn't allow good form. Again, you are stopping the boxer from extending his or her punches. There are several other mistakes, but these are by far the biggest and most common I have seen over and over again. Okay, now that we got the common mistakes out of the way, how do we properly hold mitts? Tip number one is catching the punches in a circular motion. So when you're holding mitts, you need to apply some resistance against the punches. You don't want to catch the punches straight on, but rather make a contact in a circular motion, kind of like a slight parry. That way you allow the boxer to get a full or close to full extension on their punches. Tip number two is apply moderate resistance when catching the punches. Make sure not to violently catch the punches. You're risking the boxer injuring his or her hands. Also, don't just hold the mitts out with no resistance. You need to find a middle ground and make sure to communicate with the boxer as you hold mitts. Hold the mitts too hard, you may injure the boxer. Hold the mitts too soft, they know it'll feel like you're just shadow boxing. Be firm, but not violent. Tip number three, move with the boxer or at least have them move around you. I know this video is not targeted for competitive boxers or coaches, but if you're going to hold mitts, at least make it a little realistic. It's always good to have solid fundamentals. When you hold mitts, make sure you or your boxer are moving after completing a combination or series of combinations. I personally like to extend my arm forward and have them circle around me. Sometimes I throw a few soft punches to remind them to keep their hands up if they're in close proximity to me. Tip number four is have the same stance as your boxer, meaning if the boxer is standing orthodox, stand orthodox. If it's southpaw, then stand southpaw. Now this isn't necessary if you feel comfortable standing your stance, that's fine. But it makes it easier and less confusing when working with the opposite stance. Normally I suggest catching the same hand they are throwing. For example, if the boxer is orthodox and their jab is their left hand, then catch the punch with your left hand. If the boxer throws a right hand, catch the punch with your right hand. Again, this isn't necessary, every coach holds the mitts a bit differently, but if you're new or want to learn, I suggest starting this way. So make sure your lead foot is the same foot as the boxers. Tip number five is learn some basic combinations. Once you learn the fundamentals of boxing, you can get as creative as you want and extend the combinations. Eventually, you can add slips, unders, blocks, and have your boxer throw fancy looking counter punches. But until then, learn some basic combinations. When I coach, I usually always start with four basic and simple to follow combinations. First combination is one or jab. Second combination is one, two or jab cross. Third combination is one, two, three or jab cross hook. And fourth combination is one, two, three, two or jab cross hook cross. 
It's a very simple to follow and it's structured. Eventually you can start adding uppercuts, body shots, overhands, 45s, all those punches. But for now, just learn a few basic combinations. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Again, this video wasn't necessarily for boxers, but people wanted to learn how to hold mitts. And if you learned something, let me know in the comment section below. Send this video to your personal trainer. Send this video to your mom, your dad, your friends, so you guys can get a good workout in. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Pa!